Welcome back to my channel, my course. Uh, today is a special day because I have been waiting for this for so long and because of the, you know, the current situation, lockdown and quarantine period and stuff like that, um, some of the shipments weren't be able to be on time. So there are delays and whatnot. So, uh, well, I finally gotten my order but the thing is it's just not my order <laughs> so in this box well it's not really a box but a paper bag so well I'll, I asked my friend not to put it in a box because it's too hassle pulling out the scrublings and stuff like that so what it did was just put the put the slings in a deli cup the, the normal way uh, with the substrate and all and stuff like that and uh, well the the slings were in his care for quite some time but I decided not to get it yet uh, because of the current situation and stuff like that so we need to schedule everything out and uh, earlier I went out to get it from my friend and uh, thank you very much to you bro um, so Without further ado, let me show you what's inside this paper bag. <laughs> okay, so let me just get it one at a time. Kuya, can you help me out? We'll uh, get other dolly cups and so we can show our subscribers what we have in this paper box. Whew. It's oops, I'm sorry about that. Am I covering the the camera? <laughs> I am camera. I am covering the camera. But let me just do this do this real quick so you guys uh, have maybe able to see it in one go. So are you guys ready? <sighs> That's all the scorpions in this paper bag. So, um, what do what scorpions do we have? We have deadly ones, Leurus and Parabuthus species. And uh, let's go ahead and check them one by one. Okay, so I think I want to start with the clear plastic one. These three, these three right here, because it's obvious these are the layers hangi, or how did I pronounce it correctly? Hangi. It's like Korean hangu, hangu. So this is a third in star Leurus hangi. Okay, it, it actually looks like. The Lewis and Castriatus. A little bit orange though, but uh, yeah, that's, that's how it looks like. So, these are all the same. Let's check the other two. Oh, this, this one molted. I noticed this one is, I think, on pre mold. I'm not sure with the instar though. I think it's still on the second instar. <clears throat> Yeah, it looks like it looks like it's on the second star, pretty well. Yeah, let's put that aside. This one as well. Oh, it looks like it molted too. Man, I've been waiting for these guys for about one month and a half, perhaps. So this is the other one. Looks good. And let's move on to the others. Oh, okay. This is the Parabuthus transvalicus. Okay, a female one. Oh, there's no tag for the hangi. Yeah, no tags at all. Hmm. Okay, we, we, we're gonna... Check that one out. 
once my microscope arrives. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's move on to the other one. This is another Paraboothus male, Transvalicus. Okay, very cool. And these two, I got these two as a freebie. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> you know who you are. Hands down. Okay, this one is the latest Kinkistriarus. It looks like the Hangi, but as you can see, the size difference and the, the coloration on the... Whoop! Woo! Woo Fast bastard. Okay, this one is on the second end star, this one is on the third end star. And... Well, what's the difference? Yeah, well, if you check on the carapace, the, the Hangi has black carapace. This, this Lyris Kinkistratus, I'm not sure if you guys see it, has little orangish on the carapace. And the Hangi, if you guys can see it, it's pure black. So that's how you differentiate the Hangi from a dead stalker. But as this grows, it, it will the colors will fade to yellow, yellowish orange, something like that. Or sometimes it fades away completely. Even the the black, the black spot on the fifth segment of the metasoma or the tail. Yeah. So let's check the others. So I have three hangi, two parbutus transvalcus, and this is the second um, your skin can distract I have two pairs. I'm not sure which one is which. I think this, these two are males. As per my friend's instruction, the one with a tape is the female, so um, I guess this is the one. Yeah. Yes, this is a layer skin kinkistratus as well with the tape. So female and is there another? Oh, okay. I think this is the other one too. Oop. Sorry, whoever you are. Okay, this is the layer kinkistratus female. So let's put that here. So four LQs are dead stalkers, three hangies, two parabuthus, and. The last set okay so this one is interesting three males and two females so let's check this out and this is the paraboothus routus a bicolor morph there you go i'm trying to put it on a, a larger delicop a clear plastic one so i can easily see them but i I'm not able to find a, a small, small delicate like this small. I got bigger ones. So, I guess I will have to uh, rehouse these guys. Okay, this is, what's this, a male or a female? Oh, this, this is a female. Probably both the shrouders. I think that's about it. Five Parabuthus routus and four Lyris Kinkistratus, three Hyangis, and two Parabuthus Transvalicus. <sighs> okay, so what are we gonna do? I only have nine big telecups. Maybe I will. I'll check my, my drawers and cabinets and see if I am able to find some color cups, clear ones. And we need to do a time warp for that. So I found the deli cups that I bought the other day and uh, I have already put a hole on or put a ventilation on the other um, deli cups but I haven't finished it yet so let me guys show you how I do it let's go
This is the male Parabuthus Hispalicus. Uh, are you with me? Okay, he's good. Whoop! He's quick. He's dumped the, the rest of the substrate there. I decided to rehouse them because I want them to be in a clear plastic container so I can see them, see what's going on inside. So, okay. Let me get a roach for you. I wonder if this dude is gonna eat. Are you gonna eat? Oh, okay. I think so. Let me give you a big roach instead. Oh, no, 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 not you, small roach. Okay. There's the small roach. Okay, I got it. Got it. Did he... Did he take it already? No. Come on. Don't be shy. Oh, this Parabutus is friendly. Ooh. Mm. Oh, not so friendly, I think. Good. Thank you for accepting my peace offering, sir. Oh. <laughs> awesome. Thank you for the nice takedown. Moving on to the next specimen. Next is the Parabuthus Rautus. Although they are very tiny, but I decide to put them in a bigger container so I can see them. Let's go, let's go. Can you? Okay, this is not as. Have a bigger place now. Okay, let's let's try to give this guy a piece offering. Maybe maybe you take it. Let's see. Peace offering. Oh, I sense you, dead roach. Oop. gonna take it? No. Are you scared? Oop. This, this guy is going to eat. <laughs> Just exploring. Yeah, they are friends, unfortunately. So, yeah, I will just take this little guy out of out of there. Let's put that little guy. Yeah. I'll just do it off cam. <laughs> ne move on to the next specimen. Let's move on to this guy. Oop. Can you move? Move, move, move. Dump it there. Roam around, I guess. <laughs> Let's move on to the next specimen. The next Parabuthus routus. Let's see. Okay, this guy looks cool. Oh, sorry. And still sleeping. Okay, yep. Oh, move, move, move. 
Come on. Go that way. Alright, cool. I'll let you take it. Alright, let's move on to the next. And the last one. Wow, this is so tiring. Move. Alright. Easy. move on to the dead stalkers I ran out of medium-sized telecups so I uh, used these gravy containers from one of the best chickens in the world <laughs> well gravy container you know you know that already <laughs> so um, okay. Oh, little guy, move aside and prepare for avalanche. Okay, go, 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 go. Come on. Alright, there you go. I guess that's enough. So, uh, yeah, the, this one looks so uh, spacious for you. <laughs> move on to the next scorpion next that stalker um, okay. move 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 thank you all right I think that's cool move on to the next again and the last one. Wow, this is so tiring. Move. All right. Easy. Okay. Finally, we are done with the rehousing. We are able to rehouse 11 scorplings, and I hope that they survive in my care <laughs> I'm excited to see them grow uh, in their new on um, deli cups and I think they will be able to be at least in, in the sub adult before I I transfer them over to a larger enclosure so um, by the way a uh, shout out to uh, mr. North and Raymark for giving me two pairs of death stalkers and one pair of transvalicus parbutus transvalicus thank you so much uh, I really, really appreciate it. And to Ray for uh, giving me the, the the link for my video editor, um, a copy of it. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. If you guys like this video, please hit like. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and share. And uh, comment down below if you have anything to say. So that's it for me. Thank you again for viewing my videos. You guys take care and have a good day. Bye.